my friends good morning welcome back to the sustainable sierra youtube channel if it's your first time visiting me or if it's been a while since you visited hello welcome my name is sierra and i'm an american living in england every week i make video about my family's life here or whatever it is that we happen to be doing on the weekly in today's video as you can tell by the title we have a very exciting lush video unboxing well kind of an unboxing. I did part of my haul at my local store and part online, so I just put it all on my little table here, but um, we're going to be doing both the Mother's Day and the Easter range for this year. If you're one of my subscribers, you know the reason for that is because I have a huge, huge, huge Lush collection actually over in this little closet over here, and I don't know, it's, it's, it's a little too big. So I've been trying to kind of tone down the products I purchased um, and only buy things that either I absolutely love or I've never tried before. So, um, without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. So I guess we're going to do the Mother's Day first because the Mother's Day products were launched first in the UK and then do the Easter products. So, first item in my little haul today is the Tea Party Bath Bomb. Tea Party's Bath Bomb is, I don't know if the scent is new this year, but the shape it definitely is. Every year for Mother's Day, there's usually a tea-ish themed bath bomb. This one's just so cute, but it literally just looks like a little teapot and it smells, I think it's lime and sweet orange oil. So let's give it a sniff. Oh, that smells so good. For some reason, I was expecting it to be a little more, more orangey in scent, but it's pretty good. So next thing in the Mother's Day collection that I picked up is another Buzzy Mum soap. Buzzy Mum soap came out last year for Mother's Day, and I bought, I think, two or three of them, and I love them. They're super cute. As you guys can see, it's a little bee. Mine has a little piece of soap on the side. I especially love it because last year I had it in our downstairs loo, and it smelled up the entire ground floor, like this beautiful smell. So it's like a very sweet citrusy smell. Let's give it a little sniff. Oh, it smells the same as last year. It's just as cute as it was last year, but officially the ingredients, I don't have them memorized, so I'm going to use my little cheat sheet that came here. It is scented with, officially, Sweet Wild Orange Oil, Carnation Absolute, and Mimosa Absolute, and Peach Powder, which gives it that really nice sweetness in the bottom. So, I love this one. I wouldn't repurchase it if I didn't love it. So, yay. So that is all of my Mother's Day products. I do really like the Mimosa Shower Gel, which is also part of the collection this year, but once again, I still have some of that left over from last year, so I didn't buy it. I probably should have brought it in from my shower to show you, just so you could see it. But anyways, um, let's move on to the Easter products. First item that I picked up from the Easter range this year is actually something I got for Little Man's Easter Basket, um, because I'm not a big fan of this product, but it's really cute and Little Man loves it, and it is the Follow the White Rabbit Bath Bomb. Follow the White Rabbit Bath Bomb, as you can see, is a super cute little bunny. Um, it's not that I don't like him because he's not cute. Um, I don't like him because I'm not a big fan of the scent. It's actually the carrot scent. But as I said before, I got this previously for Little Man's Easter Basket because he loves it. And when you're a mom, sometimes you just have to put up with something you don't like for a little while because your kid loves it. But it's super cute. It's the same as last year. But as you can see on the side, it has a little rainbow that jets out and it's really fun for kids in the bath. A little man likes to let the rainbow come out and then like run his fingers through it and make zigzags and it's really fun for him. Another item that I got for Little Man's Easter Basket is another product that I wouldn't say I don't like, but it's just not something I usually pick up for myself because it's not my favorite soap, but it is the Rockstar Rabbit Soap. Rockstar Rabbit Soap is, I think it's the same scent as the old Rockstar Soap that was discontinued from Lush a couple of years ago. It used to come in a big pink um, guitar shape, but it's back for Easter, and I think it is kind of a sweet vanilla scent, so I'll move it a little closer so you guys can see it first. I'm going to give it a sniff, and then I'll read you guys the ingredients. Yeah, it smells exactly the same. I think as I remember Rockstar soap, although it has been a couple of years since I smelled Rockstar. So according to this, the main ingredient that is listed for the scent is the Vanilla Absolute, which is what gives the Rockstar soap some kind of a sweet, um, like, villainility, plus something else. I can't figure out what else is in here. It's not listed in the ingredients, but it does say that there is a perfume in here, which for Lush, perfume usually means it's kind of a proprietary blend of oils that they use to make the scent. So... Not my favorite, as I said before, but Little Man is going to love how cute this is, and that's all that really matters for Easter, because it's a gift for him, so yeah. That concludes the items that I picked up for Little Man, so now we're going to move on to the items that I picked up for me, because it's my holiday too, even though I'm not getting an Easter basket. So, first item is probably my favorite product that Lush has ever come out with for Easter. Well, I should rephrase that. The old version of this is the best product Lush has ever come out with for Easter. They changed it last year, and it wasn't very good, and they changed it again this year into the similar thing, and that is the Golden Egg Melt. And this year, it's a little bit different. I actually purchased three of them, but I put them into this little bag immediately out of the box because I didn't want the glitter everywhere. But you can see on the front and on the back, it is the traditional golden egg um, 
uh, plant butter melts but on the inside it has the bath bomb element so i think it's going to be really interesting when it gets in the water because maybe the pink will fizzle out and the egg will be like melty inside and it'll look like an egg in the bath i don't know but still smells like honey i washed the kids which is like a sweet caramel honey scent but it's vegan which is amazing and i'm just very excited about this i hope it's good so put this in here now and then of course my fingers are covered in dust so i'm gonna use my little hidden towel and I'm going to show you guys the next product, which is, again, another golden egg scented product. And it is the Golden Egg Shower Gel. Um, you can see that it's like the glitteriest shower gel Lush I think has ever come out with, which is so amazing. So I am I'm super pumped to give this a try. I'm guessing I'm just going to come out of the bathtub covered in gold glitter, which is exactly what I'm going for. I'm going to open it and smell it. But I will be honest with you, I did smell this in my shop, so I'm going to give it a little... Ugh... It smells just amazing. Um, the closest thing I can compare it to is it's not the same as Sticky Gut Dates, but it's like the same sweetness as Sticky Dates, but it's also Honey, I Wash the Kids, uh, which smells so, so, so good. So, yum, perfect. Okay, I only got the 125 gram bottle, but now that I'm sitting here smelling it and holding it in my hand, I'm regretting that decision. So maybe I'll go back to the big one. I don't know. What should I do? Let me know in the comment section. Is the small one enough? Do I need the big one? I don't know. But anyways, moving on to the last and final item that I picked up from the Easter range this year. Or is this Mother's Day? I'm not sure. One of the two. The next new product for the spring range that I brought, I picked up from Lush this year is the Lush Lip Butter. The Lush Lip Butter is, as you can see, a chapstick. And it's supposed to be a little bit more moisturizing than the other Lush um, lip products I guess because it's called a lip butter rather than a lip oil but I'm gonna, not going to use it because I already have lipstick on. I'm going to give it a little smell to tell you guys what it smells like. Oh, it does smell really good. It definitely has like a sweet caramelly scent to it which I really like. Now whether or not it tastes good is the next question but anyways let's just look, check out the ingredients. It is made with a handful of plant oils including shea butter which is great for the lips and as far as the scent it or the flavorings, it is Fenogeek Absolute, Brazilian Orange Oil, Tajates Oil, I don't know what that is, Almond Essential Oil, Vanilla Absolute, and Sesame Seed Absolute with Carob Resinoid and Stevia. Ooh, the Carob Resinoid is probably going to make it like kind of chocolatey, which when I smell it actually, it does kind of smell a bit chocolatey, which is probably from the Carob. Carob is not chocolate, but often it's like similar, so... Yeah, very exciting. I'm almost out of my chapstick in my handbag, so I'm excited to switch over to this one. So, yeah, with that being said, I think that's the end of our little Easter Mother's Day Spring Lush Haul for this year. I really like all the products that I got. I think my favorite, of course, is the Golden Egg Shower Gel. It's going to be so much fun to use in the shower, but if you're a Lushy, go in the comment section. Let me know what your favorite product is from these two ranges. Subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.